So in this session, we'll revise array. So what is array? You all know array is a collection of similar data types. In real life, we always group similar kind of things. We keep X in racks, mastix in matchbox, like this. So array is similar to this concept. In array, we can keep n number of elements, suppose n could be 5, 10, but it must be specified with the same data type. So data type of all the elements of an array must be of same type. So what is the advantage of array? Using array, we can only keep one variable for storing more than one value. Array elements are stored in contiguous or adjacent memory locations. We can access the array elements by using index numbers. So index number of array elements starts from 0 and ends at n minus 1. Here n is the size of the array. If 10 elements are stored in the array, first element will be in at 0 index position and the last element will be at 10 minus 1 ninth location. So 0 to 9 if I count, I will count 10. So let us declare an array which is of integer type and it will store marks of 5 subjects or 6 subjects you appear in HSLC. So let us declare an array and see how to declare an array and accept data into array. Array demonstration. So we will include the header file followed by the main function which is int main and then to declare the array I will write int. Suppose the name of the array is ARR and the size of the array is given in square brackets. So I will store marks of 6 subjects. So the size of the array will be 6. Array size must be defined while declaring it. It cannot be a variable. It must be always a constant. So this is the declaration of the array. Now how to assign values in 6 different locations of the array. So suppose the marks of the first subject is 90. So I will write ARR within square bracket 0. So this is going to be the first element of the array which will be equals to 90. Followed by few more lines. I will press Ctrl D to repeat all this. So second element, suppose marks of MIL will be at location 1. And suppose it is 82. The marks of the third subject, suppose it is mathematics, it is 94. Marks of the fourth subject, which is suppose science, so again it is 91. Marks of social science, which is the fifth subject at index location 4, suppose it is 97. And marks of electric subject for all computer science students, here it should be 100. So we have assigned the value of six subjects in array. Now what if I want to print? I'll write printf, say marks of, suppose English, it is integer, so percent D should be the format. And how to print? The same way we have assign the value error of 0 0 is the first index location of the array and in 0th location we have stored the marks of the first subject which is English now if I want to print one more I have to come down to the next line so there must be a backslash n after this percent d so it will take me to the next line so control d to repeat it five times so marks of mil it should be error of 1 then Next one will be mathematics, it will be 2. After mathematics, it is science or GSC, general science. It is in the fourth location, which is index 3. The next one will be at location, index location 4. And the last one will be at 5. So fifth subject will be social science or social studies. And then the last one, elective. So after we have printed all these array elements, we can just write return 0 and semicolon. Let us save this code as array.c and run this code. See, we are going to display the marks of English, MIL, Mathematics, GSC, Social Science and Elective Subject. So this is how we can directly assign the value of array elements and print them. What if I want to store all these values by using a loop? As because the index location of array increments by 1 for the next element. So it starts from 0, then go to 1, 2, 3, like this. It is sequential. We can use a loop to take data into array. So let us see how loops can be used to take data in array. So this will reduce the length of our code. So let us save this file with a new name. It could be array underscore loop. 
and let us change the code. Now, as we are running a loop, we need another variable. So the index of the array will be specified by a variable i and we will not write all this assignment. Rather, we will run a for loop. So we will write for i equals to 0 because the index location of array starts from 0. And if so 6 elements are there, i should be always less than 6. So the writing loop for an array is very, very easy. It starts from 0 and it will be it will run up to less than the size of the array then i'll write i plus plus let us give a bracket and then write printf within double quotes enter the marks of subject one now every time it will be subject one so we'll put a percent here so that we can increment the value of i by 1 and get the subject number so i is 0 if i write i plus 1 so 0 plus 1 will be 1 and it will print enter the marks of subject 1 so for the first subject i want to take the marks so to take the marks from user we have to write scanf because scanf is going to scan the keyboard percent d is the format of integer followed by address because all these array index locations are part of memory array is a kind of variable it is a derived data type so it will be resident in memory and to get, uh, put something in memory you have to put the address operator so ampersand is the address operator followed by arr is the name of the array and the index location will be taken from the value of i so i is zero now if i put i here it will take the value in error of 0. Next time, if the value of i increments after coming here, i will become 1. 1 is less than 6. It will print, enter the marks of subject, 1 plus 1 is 2. Okay. And in scanf, we will take the value in error of i, which is 1, error of 1. So second position's value will be taken. Like this, as long as the loop runs, we will be able to take values in location 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. When the value of i is 6, this loop will terminate and then we can directly print the value of all the subjects. So let us try this code. So see, it is printing enter the marks of subject 1. Why it is 1? Because the value of i is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1. So now user can give marks randomly. Second subject, third one, and then the last subject. So see, we are able to take data from user by using a loop into an array. So this is how loop is related to array. In array operations, it is better to use loop rather than taking data directly in each of the index locations. So this will reduce the size of our code. See, the code size has reduced. So if you have to take a thousand values also, this loop will work. Only you have to write thousand instead of six. So this is the beauty of loop along with array. So that's all for today's class.